Israel is just incredible. It felt so real there. to take this place of sightseeing and just make it a place of worship where we can just thank God for what he's done for us. And they call it a holy land because it is holy. There was many times where I just had to take myself away and I just had to look and be with the Lord and just pray and just talk to him. You don't really know what to expect until you get there, but then once you experience it, you, it lives with you for a lifetime. Being able to connect with each other through the one thing that does bring us together, which is Jesus Christ, was just really powerful. If I'm doing my devotions, reading the Bible, I can make that connection in my head. I was there, like, I know exactly what that looks like in my head now, and it just brings it to life. It really, really brought it to life. So it was incredible for my spiritual growth. My favorite place that we went to was the Garden Tomb. And um, the first place that they took us in the garden was to see Golgotha, the place of the skull. And then we're at the site and you can see the skull in the mountain. So it's like, it's like, this is real. Like it could be from 2000 years ago, but it's real. And just sitting there and like realizing that that's where Jesus was crucified. And then shortly after going to see the empty tomb. Just walking through the tomb, seeing it. You can't uh, grasp it unless you're actually sitting there. We got to worship there and take communion there. I will never take communion again uh, the same way. Uh, taking the communion cup at the tomb with Audrey Clark singing. We always love to sing and worship before every game. And so when Stephen asked me if I would sing a song at the Garden Tomb, um, I was like honored because I got to share with everyone um, just a piece of my heart and that's just to worship. It was just a place of surrender and it was a place of freedom. And I just, I didn't want to leave. My favorite part of the trip was definitely getting baptized in the Jordan River. That was just insane. It was incredible. To be baptized and rededicate my life and have the girls cheer for me. You know, having my family, my Liberty family, sit, be there cheering, clapping um, for me as I come, came out of the water. Uh, that, was, that was pretty powerful. Nazareth was my favorite part. We're having so much fun here. We got to like engage with people that are from there and they were so nice and welcoming and friendly and playing basketball. Like even with the language barrier, like we could still connect. And Mustaz, Liberty Basketball, and what's the team? Nadarun. That's gonna be that's Nad gonna be very hard. Nad Nadarun. Nad Mustaz Nadarun. Being at Liberty and having the opportunity to take this trip to Israel with the team and having the opportunity to grow my faith and being encouraged to do so, it's just so phenomenal to have coaches like Coach Green that just care so much about you as a person and take the time to take you to Israel. Like, that's just amazing. It feels like we went on a journey together and we got to spiritually, emotionally connect like every day. It was a blessing, honestly. That's the best word for it, it was a blessing. This college basketball experience isn't just four years of playing a game, it's four years of cultivating that relationship with Christ. And I'll just, I'll always be thankful that I've been given this opportunity.